Hello and welcome to your number one entertainment plug, Icon Radio. This is a sports and reggae show, and I'm your host, Innocent Mutiso, alongside Uncle Teams, as usual. Nakwambia na tuko na DJ Mpia, our guest DJ for today. Hey, select a bigo. Select a bigo, up a monyewe. Do you know, Sasa? I'm confident, Sasa. I'm going to come to Agani Kwanza. Mtani metoka Uruma. Allah. Aya. Yeah. Uruma Masi. Representing. Representing. Uruma Masi. Hedge Tower. Ndiyo hiyo sasa. Ndiyo hiyo sasa. Eh. Yeah. Huko ndo megroya. I mean megroya tu Uruma tu. Yeah. Kutoka tu ni zaliwe. Yeah. Tumekuwa Uruma. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Na history yako u selector, u DJ ulianzia wapi? Nani aliku inspire? Uli uliamwaju kwa kitu uh, hii uh, DJ. Mi history yangu ya u selector. Uh-huh. Nilianzia chuo inaitwa Bling Town Academy. Bling? Bling Town Academy ah, hapo. Okay. Ya DJ, DJ Bling. Eh yeah, DJ Bling. Hey. DJ Bling ndio baba yao. Yeah, DJ <laughs> Bling hapo. <laughs> big up, big up. Big up sana Sabi DJ sana Bling. Yeye ndio hapo nilisomea hiyo chuo. Uh-huh. Na akanipatia hapo certificate yangu rasmi ya selector. <laughs> Kwa hivyo niko fit mbaya. Kumbe mesema leo Jamaica. Leo jam down. Different style. Guys, guys. Remember every Saturday from 10 to 12. Join us for the sports and reggae show with Innocent Mutiso and Uncle Chins. Nawaambia majama. Leo ndio ile day. Uncle. Eh. We have a host of topics. Eh mzee. Na pia tuko na our icon of the day. Wiki yako imekuwaaje kwa watu? Wiki yangu imekuwa fit sana. Kama yangu. Kama yako. Sijajua yeah. last weekend my bets zetu zote ziliingiana. Yeah. Mimi kwanza nilibeke tukio tu hapo studio. Yeah. Selewa una unaongea bila wekelea. Unaongea bila wekelea. Hey, Monday asubuhi na mka hivi nakutana na message kwa yeah. ajili ya ujumbe. 11,000. Hey. Aliyekelea tu so. Eh. Yeah. Kwa hiyo kwa kuna kwa wasikilizaji wetu kama walitusikiza last weekend on Saturday. Eh. Yeah. Sasa najua kuna kitu tafadhali kama ulitusikiza hatujasonga bado kuja utuambie asante eh lakini tutawakuta kwa hiyo section tuwapashe kwa section hapo kwenye youtube hapo hapo chini ya kon radio ke hapo chini kwenye comments comments nini watu waambie vile kuko na pia watu wa sahau pia tuna promote hapa ma upcoming DJs kama selector big hapa hivi tuna big up buda thank you very much for gracing our show this is a sports and reggae show mimi nakwambia so guys tell a friend to tell a friend This is the place to be. Tuko na vitu mingi sana tunataka kuongelelea, tunataka kuongelea Women's Premier League, tutaongelelea uh, what's been happening huko Egypt na Viga Queens. Kwenye kabisa. Tutaongelelea FKF Premier League. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, tutaongelelea kitu imekuwa kifanyika the whole week. Gormayo pigo jo fine nyingine hapo kubwa sana sio tunataka kuongelea. Sio kama tutachangia team. Eh. Hey. <laughs> Lakini nataka tuanzie hapo mbele. Eh. Yeah. Viga Queens manzi. Mimi review yangu ya wiki jo Viga Queens yeah. waliweni impress mbaya sana. Au madem wana nini? Wameni impress mbaya sana. Huh? Ukiangalia mahali wametoka na kuna ligi Kenya ya wadema ti tunaweza sema ni competitive. Yeah. Ni kubahatisha bahatisha alafu mahali wamefikia. Wameni impress mbaya sana. Manze na kuambia jo nataka run team mwezi mmoja sio hiyo do. <laughs> Game ya kwanza walienda pale pale nini? Champions League, Yoka of Champions League. Uh-huh. Walipata ma Melody Sundowns. Ah, kwanza kabla kabla hapo, hiyo yeah. journey yao kwanza tu. Uh-huh. After kushinda league Kenya, uh-huh. tunajua walikuwa pale Sekafa sek- qualifiers zenye zilikuwa hapa. Zenye zilikuwa hapa Nairobi. Eh, na wakakuwa number one, uh, walifunga the legs of Simba, wakafunga hii team ya Ethiopia CBE. Watu wana resources. Watu wana resources manze. Wame invest na wanacheza league yeah, league fit kabisa bila maneno. Na zao zimeshikisha huko, uh-huh. lakini hiyo Kenya mimi nakwambia, Liga Queens nakwambia na big up manze wakashinda kwake namba 1 na waka qualify. Gentrix Chikangwa. Sijui kama pia ni kazini yako. Eh ni kazini yangu ni watu wa Kayega sijui tutabeba hii Kenya paka siku gani. Watu wa Kayega tunabeba hii Kenya jo lakini sawa tu. Kama ni hivyo mmeamua. Alipiga bao mbili jo hiyo hiyo nini? Hiyo hiyo finali. After hapo Madema ka qualify CAF Women's Champions League. Champions League. The first ever. The first ever nakwambia. Current says uko Egypt. Zinaendelea. Eh juzi game ya kwanza walipatana na Mamelodi. Game haikuwa rahisi game ilikuwa ngumu. Mamelodi wao naijua ni timu nzito hapa Afrika. Wameinvest sana kwa, kwa kwa kazi yao. Pito Musimane. Eh hawabahatishi. Pito yule coach. Pito yule coach alikuwa wanaume. Motsepe, Motsepe, Motsepe. Eh ni current ni current CAF president yes, size. Yes, yes, eh ndio mwenyewe team. Na ni jamaa anajua kazi yake. Akiingia kufanya kazi mahali abahatishi. So una imagine 
the kind of competition ilikuwa hapo team ime invest wame buy the best wako hapo eh, wakatifunga 1 nil biga queens walifunga 1 nil na mamelody sandom which music kuona ikuwa shameful kwa sababu kamoja tu kwa sababu performance pia ilikuwa iko juu na ile team ya billionaire na ile team ya billionaire ni hapa county ya ni hapa county hapa kwa otichilo mwenye kwa sababu alitoka kitu alitoka kitu eh alitoka kitu ya kuambia ni aje ndeni iwa motivate kitu ile nilibamba na hiyo game ni kulikuwa na dem goalkeeper wa viga aitwa Liliana Wor yes 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 Liliana Wor alipoa woman of the match hiyo game ya nini hiyo game ya ma melody sundowns the first goalkeeper kupatia award the first goalkeeper selekta biko hebu kata hiyo music kwanza sasa tumeingia to serious business the first goalkeeper the first goalkeeper first goalkeeper kupata hiyo award jo mzee nakwambia woman of the match performance yake ilikuwa iko juu yani hiyo siku hata hiyo bao moja sijui liingia yeye ndo alikuwa na keeper viga queens in the game bado ah ah tunaweza sema yani alikuwa tu ako juu alikuwa tu juu alikuwa tu ako juu eh hata ange angechezoka strike na fikiria angefunga second half Yaani ilikuwa tu siku yake tu. <laughs> ilikuwa ilikuwa impressive sana. Ilikuwa impressive sana na nafikiria kitu walifanya hiyo mechi ame inspire generations huko nyuma sana na sisi kama Kenyans tuko proud sana. Mm. Tulipoteza hiyo tukaingia sasa mechi ya pili sasa. Versus us afar. Us afar ya Morocco. Morocco. Mm. 30 times champions wa Botola Women. Botola Women. Ndio hiyo. Hawajafungwa 2020 wanamfungwa ha, game moja. Game moja tu game moja tu <laughs> the last year <laughs> and beaten wa mengi ya mechi wame invest wampiga na game ya kwanza 3 nil uh-huh. wamekuja pale wampata mademu wetu hawana pressure gentrix chicago gentrix chicago na violet wanyonyi hawana kwa the council of elders tumewapangia pools tutawachinjia pools <laughs> and chicken wakirudi <laughs> Winners wa bullfighting. Eh winners wa bullfighting. Watachinjwa lazima. Kafiu. Kuna ngombe moja inaitwa Kafiu. Kuna ngombe moja inaitwa Kafiu. Tutaongea story ya Kafiu baadaye. But performance ilikuwa fit mechi yenyewe mimi niliona. Eh 90 minutes. Game plan yao ilikuwa rahisi. Wa soka attack. Alafu wanapiga counter. They let Nini Morocco have the ball. Eh waliwaachia ball. Alafu au wanangoja counter attack wanangoja counter juu ile kiwanja game kianza ile kiwanja niliona nika ilikuwa imeolemea kidogo ilikuwa kubwa wajazoea viwa au kwa anajua kuutilize space kabisa mm. so walikuwa tu wanasokizo attack wanasoka wakipata ball hivi mzee counter 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 za ukweli kuna kitu moja inakonga musemanga musemanga sana on very uh, on various platforms uh-huh. that Kenya we need identity mm. Now we need to play with to our strengths. Mm. Ukienda pale Holland kuko na ile uh, total football. Total football. Ukienda uh, Brazil mm. kuko na Yogo Bonito. Uh-huh. Ukienda Spain kuna Tiki Tak. Uh-huh. Kenya mbona tuna identity yetu? yetu. Na hiyo ndio kitu umesema. Mm. Tunatumia strengths zetu. Ndio. Ndio. Na Kenya tunajulikana kwa athletics. Na, kwa, kwa athletics. Ama demu unasema walikuwa wanatoka wanatoa wanatoa ama demu wa Morocco mbio. Kama ndugu yao Manyala. <laughs> Afrika na kuzo, record holder 100 meters. Ndio hiyo sasa. Hey. Na kusho counter ya kwanza ilipigwa hivi bao. Kitu ndani. Kitu ndani shindu muneti. Mm, shindu muneti. Hey, hey. <laughs> so raia joi kafikiria. <laughs> Game kuendelea pressure joi ilikuwa pale pressure mingi sana. Mm. Eh, kuna kuna captain huyo team ali hata bao clean. Mm. Mm. Tukaingia half time mzee. Mm. Second half kuanza alafu kitu ilinibamba nao. Yes. Yo kuachapa kabla msettle. Ju first half waliwapiga kabla yeah, wa settle. Na hiyo bao ya kwanza. Second half kwanza ndio nasema iko a fluke. The same same thing ili happen. Same same thing. Liona ball tolo katikati kwa huko. Counter uko, double. Kipa ka punch. Ndani. Gentrix Chicago. Mm. Akatapunda. Akatapundani. Aye. Na kutoka hapo sasa ikakuwa ni kusok tu pressure, kusok eh, pressure hizo eh, counter. Kumanage game kuna ku manage game kabisa. Kuna tu mistakes mm. dogo tudogo ni vile atujazaa kwa hiyo level. Mm zenye zilikuwa zinaonekana lakini kama tuifikeo level na tunachapa watu kama wale tunapiga team kama hiyo by eh, team kubwa ime, imeweza kucheza uh, level, kama eh, level kama hiyo kubwa mimi hata sielewi vile kuna watu wengine walikuwa nasema Kenya kuna talent <laughs> sijui walikuwa na maanisha nini tunahitaji wa, watu watu eleze kwa sababu jo ile kasi talent mimi eh, talent ni nini hiyo ni talent that's that, that, that's talent na mademo wame to, wame to impress, wame to impress. Na, sasa you, eh. kitu ilitushangaza tena mm-hmm. bado kuga kwa na woman of the match tena jo hiyo game ya Morocco. Hiyo game tena ya Asfa. Bado ametoka tu Kenya. <laughs> Teresa Egesha. Terry Engesha ndio hiyo. Terry Egesha. Yes. Eh hey, madama anacheza ball. Anajua ndimu. Eh hey, anajua ball, anajua, anajua ball mbaya sana. 
au simpigie saa hii tumalize show. Mm. Na ni mtu mwingine kama mnda congratulations. Hapa <laughs> icon. Eh, hey. ule ni icon. Na kwambia zao walikuwa wanacheza bola yani wametulia. Mm. Pressure na kuja lakini kitu walikuwa wameamua ni hatufungwi. Ndio hiyo. Alafu unajua woman of the match alikuwa post bad. <laughs> hey, <Lilia na> <laughs> so ata, walikuwa wakipita defense yote. Lila na chukua bola na tulia. Chukua bola na tulia. Mm. Eh, eh, wako tu fit kabisa. Na hiyo group yao ukiangalia, mm-hmm. Mamelodi Sundowns walishinda wameshinda game mbili game walifunga walifunga Viga Queens. Mm-hmm. Uh, game game nyingine wakafunga River Angels. Mhm. Uh, wako na 6 points. Number 2 ni Viga Queens from Kenya. Mhm. Ama Dem Jomet impress with 3 points. Hiyo game walifunga uh, as far. Alafu uh, kuna wao River Angels. Hao River Angels ndo wanacheza pamoja na Viga Queens sasa. Mm. After hapo ni semi finals. After hapo ni semi. Ay. Itakuwa fiti kwa fiti kabisa eh. big up tuna wa big up au madem mm-hmm. tuna wa enzi na you are our icons lazima wakam kwa show lazima kuja lazima tu invite kwa show mm, lazima wakam kwa namba ya teliengesha mm. niko na pia namba ya gentrix chikango mm. i have their number those are my cousins <laughs> gentrix <laughs> 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 wajaribu kwa top scorer under 20 na kuambia watu wa hayaga <laughs> sijui tutabeba hii nchi mpaka siku gani <laughs> Hey. Hey. <laughs> Aina noma wiki kusonga songa mzee. Mm-hmm. Kuliko na story ilitoka pale Europe. Sijui kama ulicheki. Ya nani? Goalkeeper wa Chelsea. Mendy. Mendy. Uh-huh. Our very own Alidea. Eduardo Mendy. Mm-hmm. Eduardo Mendy alitoa statement very controversial. Alidai ayuko kwa shortlist ya Ballon d'Or kwa sababu yeye ni Mwafrika. Kuhu ni ile kisanga ya Thierry Henry all over again ya 2002. Ndio hiyo sasa. All over again. All over again. Na mimi nilikuwa naona na make sense kwa sababu kama ni clean sheets ana lead. Ligi ameshinda, Champions League ameshinda. Ni nini am stop kukuata kwa shortlist tu, si hata kukua kwa kwa shortlist peke yake. Shortlist tu peke yake. Mm. Na the same thing ukiangalia inaendelea kufanyika Europe, pia kuna season eto alibeba Barcelona. Eh kwa tabali wabeba. Pia ya kuwa kwa shortlist ako kwa shortlist. So wewe unaona ni kama Mendy alikuwa na point ama ako na point? Eh. Ukili, ukiangalia kumekuwa na trend. Mm-hmm. Hiyo time ya Thierry Henry, mm. time ya Samuel Leto, Didier time, Drogba. Didier Drogba pia mm. na ndio hiyo na Mendy. Mm. So sijui kama makosa ni skin color ama ni kama ni kama ni kama lazima uwe mlami. Uh. In as much as ni sad tukiongelea hiyo story na hizo points. Lakini ni kama lazima uwe mlami ndio upo ile kitu kuna ni kama kuna message unajaribu kupitisha subconsciously mm, kwamba mm, hii kitu ni awalami peke yake mm. on that note uncle chimps mm-hmm. nataka tuende madukani kidogo mm-hmm. tukirudi tupige round 2 uh-huh. tuone vile kutakuwa tuone vile kutakuwa sawa sawa safi kabisa aya eh select a bigo select a bigo hey that's the cloud 9 hey mimi niko Mediterranean. 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 Si Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Na hiyo juu hizi maeria. Mediterranean Pacific. Pacific na Atlantic. Caribbean iko. Basi ni huko ndio nilikuwa. Hayaga tulikuwa tunafanya vitu important agriculture. Wapi ndio ya chakula? Agriculture. That was important thing. Nakabigo. Thank you very much bana. Eh eh. Yeah yeah. Mimi nakwenda hey. nasikia fit. Hmm? Mimi niko fine mbaya sana. Hey, hey, hey. For the fans out there manzee kama mna join saa hii. Join the conversation pale kwenye our social media handles. Kwenye YouTube at Icon Radio KE KE kuna pia hapo ma comments unaweza hata comment yako hapo na mmeona hapa kula tuna promote upcoming DJs na ma selector na pia ma MC kama unataka ku join issue yetu sports and regular it's growing every day na kwa daily 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 subscribe hapo hivi hata ikutakuwa na line refu hivi utakuwa unatafuta chance au party kwa hivyo kama utakuwa featured kwa show yetu wewe ingia pale kwa comment section hapo pia kuna kuna bio si ndio kweli kabisa unaweza ingia hapo 
our full shows si kila kitu iko pale hivyo comment hapo tuambie pia ma predictions zako pia predictions zetu za last time ziliingia wote tunawakuta tunawakuta tunaona nakwambia nikitembea nje na kia kiareo na wananifuta nyuma tunawakuta 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 tembea na wasiwasi hivi kiareo anaweza kuwa nyuma nyuma yako uje wame kula kula aje ipe eh eh hey. na umesema hivyo onea Facebook Instagram Interactive kibao tutakuongea na sisi. Hey. Na pia tuko na personal handles. Na pia tuko na personal handles. Miangu uh, pale kwenye Twitter, Facebook na pia Instagram zote at Innocent Mutiso. Anko Chims Twitter. Mm-hmm. Anko Chims Instagram, mm-hmm. Facebook Chris Chimano. Selector Bigo. Yes, yes. Unapatikana wapi kwa mitandao ya kijamii? Kwenye Facebook hapo unanipata kama Tush Tush Bigo. Tush Tush. Tush Tush, 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 tush Bigo mwenyewe. Wacha tu. Usizere. Eh. Baba jita DRS DRS Bigo. Alafu kuna Instagram hapo utanipata pia kama Tush Tush Bigo. Kuna fan page yangu hapo unaweza ingia hapo upige like select Bigo. Alafu kwenye Twitter hapo unanipata kama @tbigo. Ndio hiyo sasa. Mmesikia? Nakwambia muziki ya ukweli. Tulikuwa water break hapo. Ndio hiyo sasa. Tembea kwenye beach kiasi, meditation zone. Sasa tumerudi kwenye second part of the first half. First half. Umesikia? Second part of the first half. Ndio hiyo sasa. Umesema water break. Water break. Tumekunywa chai. Eh, kuja kuja kahawa ingine hapo. Eh. Eh, sasa. Tukirudi pale. Tulikuwa tunaongelea historia ya Mendi. Na vile hii skin color manze. Kuna vile tunapata bado discrimination, bado racism imejaisha. Ju nikiangalia qualifiers za Africa za World Cup. You have to go through three rounds. Very rigorous. Very rigorous. Ukiangalia pale Europe. Group winners from group A to group C H ko IJ. Group winners direct ticket. Direct ticket. Na bado kuna second uh, uh, runners up when the playoffs. Mm. Na pia bado wale wamemaliza number 3 kama South for example team kama ya Wales. Hawa kuna chance ya kumaliza number 3. Mm. But ile Nations Cup. Ile Nations ile Cup Nations ya Wales produceiwa. Eh. Wali maliza number 1 kwa group yao. Eh. So pia hawa kuna chance ya kwenda World Cup. World Cup. Manze buangalia vile it's so easy to qualify for World Cup when you ukiwa, go Europe. Ukiwa Europe. But hapa Africa you have to go through three rounds. Three rounds. Na ni vile wange ongeza hata qualifiers zingine ucheze na team za Europe. Three countries unajua Europe ni ka Southern Africa. Mm. Mapa DRC. Eh. DRC kushika na, na Sudan hiyo ni Europe. Hiyo ni Europe yote. mzima. Yote. Mm. 54 countries. Tuko na sijui groups. 24 teams uh, ni uh, wazo groups uh, 24 teams. Alafu ukiangalia uh, the winners uh-huh. wana go bado through another Qualify round of uh, group stages zingine wana uh-huh. second round uh-huh. after second rounds my teams start is na kwa group 10 uh, 10 10 after kuna kuna round robin mm. winners wa hiyo group wataenda tena third qualifying kwa hiyo third qualifying mm. kwa hizo group za 10 10 10 wana tafuta watu team 5 tano peke yake hizo ndo zinaenda world cup out of how many countries <laughs> 54 countries. Ah hiyo ni ukora. Kwa hiyo It's high time tuanze kurudi kwa hii meza tuanze ku negotiate fresh. Inafaa. Slots zingine na vitu zingine kwa sababu sio fair. Na majority ya wachezaji wetu ndo wanaleta maneno pale hivyo juu. Mm. Europe Africans ndo wanabeba ma team. So tuna need hiyo platform. Ku negotiate na kufanya mambo yetu. France ni. Team yako. Eh. Eh. Hey, Ngolo can't Eh ngolo kanti. Ndio hiyo sasa. Eh kuna Pogba. Pogba. Sasa jana nilikutana na Pogba. Nikimbia huko kuna Zebra hapo nilikutana nayo. Pogba. Ikasema baba. Ikasema kadiangalia hivi. Itanga kwa. Yuko area. Iko area. Eh? Sasa alafu tunasema opinion yako kwa hizi qualify unasema lazima zibadilishwe. Lazima zibadilishwe. Format lazima ibadilishwe. Hata kama wata introduce Nations Cup ya Africa. Tutashukuru sana. Mhm but they should make it easier for african teams to qualify because most of the countries atokiangalia pale belgium mm. 
Romelu Menama Bolingo Lilu Kaku. Mm. The the top scorer wa Belgium. Mm. He's Congolese. So kitu kitu inafaifanyike ni heads wa hizi federations wa washikane wa, wa, wa fikiria na sauti moja exactly. alafu tuanze ku renegotiate na FIFA Tuanze renegotiate na FIFA manzi mm. lazima hii dini ya, ya Africa ikue isn't up kidi kiasi mm, mm. eh kulikuwa na revelations huko Barcelona eh hey, mzee hmm? prodigal son leona mm. alitoka alsad alitoka alsad mm. hey amerudi mtaani Xavi Hernandez Xavi Hernandez huh? ni inspirational sana unajua unajua kwa mchezaji kama huyo mm. kurudi kwa hiyo club kama coach. Alikuwa legend. Unajua hata kama tuseme hata kama ajui ku coach. <laughs> presence yake pale, ile presence yake yani. pale. Guys can draw inspiration from presence eh, yake. Mm. Presence yake tu pale ni tayari ta change fortunes za club. Kwa sababu ameanzia chini, amekuja, ameshinda title, sasa amerudi kama coach. Mimi nakwambia unajua hiyo position yake alichukua from Pep Guardiola mmoja alikuja kukua coach wake kukua later. Kukua coach wake later. Akiwa 19 years. Mm. Akaweka Pep Guardiola nje. Mm na karais through the ranks he was mm. part and parcel of the golden generation ndio hiyo sasa yenye ilishinda world cup na euros mara mbili mara mbili zikifuata hebu niambie mseka huyo kwa bench pale wachezaji watajituma wachezaji watajituma traditions kama hizo ndio tunafaa kuanza kuleta hapa hivi Africa kwa sababu ukiangalia Africa atu wewe uko na do sasa unafaa kwa president wa wa federation haifa hivyo so unaanza ku make decisions za kuappoint my best kwa kwa club at eh mutiso Kuja sasa wewe uko hapa hivi coach wa team. Hauna qualifications, hauna nini, wewe ni best ya mine. Football inaanza huko chini. Shavi sasa yampo ile team. Mm. Kitu ya kwanza atahakikisha iko sawa ni academy. Mm. Kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe algraduate kutoka kwa ile academy. Ah, yes. Unaona? So atarudi pale chini a make sure academy iko fit. Iko fit. Na ata, atajieka na watu atajisarau na watu wanaelewa ball na wanaelewa way ya Barcelona. Lakini sisi hapa jo mzee. <laughs> no, hata hata Kenya hapa tumejaribu kwa sababu uh-huh. ukiangalia Nairobi City Stars. Uh-huh. Uh, sahi, na wako top 4 sahi kwa uh, FKFPL. Mm. Coach ni Nicolas Muyoti. Nicolas mm. Muyoti ni former ni player wa Nairobi City Stars. Mm. Ukienda pale Madari United, Ezekiel Akwana, mm-hmm. former captain Haram, uh, Madari United. Sasa yeye mm-hmm. ndio coach wa Madari United. Mm. Kwa hivyo pia Kenya tunajaribu ku, ku, ku ama icons wenye walikuwa walikuwa magwiji wa hiyo team, mm-hmm. uh, former players wamekuja wame-take over team. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo unamaanisha kuna kitu tuna, tuna tumeanza lazima tume waanzie mahali ama former players wanaenda kuzima coaching courses wanapata mapepasi zao wanapatiwa ma teams hata huko England umeangalia Mikel Arteta alikuwa captain wa Arsenal ndio hiyo uh, sasa ni coach wa Arsenal angalia Oleguna ole uh, Solskjaer alikuwa uh, legend mchezaji wa Manchester uh, wa Manchester United sasa si coach sasa yako pale kwa, uh, kwa hivyo uh, hii kitu inafaa endelee hiyo trend kwa lakini si ma coach coaching peke yake tutakuwa pia pale management management administration hapo wale wa decision makers wako pia former players watu watu wame wame walk the talk watu wame experience hii exactly. hii hi, hi safari na kuagaje watu wanajua where we the shoe pinches pinches manzi mm. ina five yo mm. uh, nini uh, WPL uh, mm-hmm. women's premier league ina mm. resume uh, this weekend eh uh-huh. eh leo kwanza leo kuna game mbili mm. moto sana eh uh-huh. tika queen sound of defending champions manzi manzi take over from viga queens when you're in the three seasons in a row, in a row. Ana walikuja ka break your duck. Uh, watakuwa na Kayole Starlet mm. Tika Stadium. Ndio mm-hmm. itakuwa leo leo saa nane. Na Tika Queen so <laughs> bila mpoteza poteza wachezaji. Unaona ki defend title. Sioni wa ki defend title. Mm. Itakuwa ni ngumu sana kwao. Kwanza viga wakirudi. Eh viga kwanza wakirudi mm. itakuwa moto sana. Eh. Kuna pale Wadadia watacheza na Bunyore Starlet. Hey, eh. Game itakuwa Mumia Sports Complex. Ndio hiyo. Hiyo <laughs> ni sure win Bunyore. Eh, hey, alafu kesho pia kuna magame zingine kuna Kangemi Ladies FC versus Ulinzi Starlets itakuwa mm-hmm. Ruaraka Grounds mm-hmm. saa 8. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kisumu All Starlets versus mm-hmm. Gaspo Women. Ah Gaspo Women ndo walifungwa playoffs finali na Tika Queens. Tatu uh, nunge 3-0. 3-0. Tika Queens wakachukua hiyo kitu. Eh. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, itakuwa Moi Stadium Kisumu mm-hmm. saa 8 pia. Mm-hmm. Uh, Transzoia Falcons. Hey, your cousins ni wengi. Wengi. <laughs> <laughs> Tunabeba hii inchi hey, sana wai friend. Transzoia Falcons watacheza versus uh, uh-huh. Zetex Sparks. Uh-huh. Kenyatta Stadium Kitale. Wewe mm. <laughs> kitu unanifurahisha na historia yote. Uh-huh. At least tunaona women football. Mhm. Uh-huh. before tu kwa tunaona ati, ati tunajua hata kuna fixtures, kuna ma mechi mahali fulani. Wacha <laughs> kwanza hivyo. Uh-huh. Nikipiga research hii Women's Premier League. Uh-huh. Ime, imeanza kuwa vibrant. Mhm. Uh-huh. Kuna time ilikuwa vibrant between uh, 2009 and 2012. Uh-huh. Ju uh, kulikuwa na um, UNICEF ndo walikuwa wame take charge. Wale walikuwa wana sponsor. Eh, wakafukuzwa na 
previous federation president just because ya kickbacks ya kickbacks eh so unajua unicef si watu watu wa wa kwa manipulated of your of your yeah but from 2016 mm-hmm. imeanza kuwa vibrant tena imerudi tena ikakuwa fit eh ime kuwa vibrant kwa sababu ukiangalia in the years before 2016 mm. Ah uh, kiangalia kama 2011 mm. unaona unknown winner ijulikani nani eh ukiangalia SG 2013 it was abandoned abandoned yani ilikuwa top sitavi hivi 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 au juu ikaita kwa vibrant mm-hmm. na madimo mmeza kuenjoy ile kitu tu kimebakia tu pesa ni investment team wa gwetu hapo hivyo ndani investment team wa gwetu hapo league sponsor vitu kama hizo kwa sababu mm. ukiangalia jo viga viga queens after kushinda tika queens after kushinda 350,000 hiyo ni pesa kidogo sana hiyo ni pesa ta haiwezi run team mwezi moja hiyo ni game mbili awe pesa imeisha pesa imeisha transport imeisha. hoteli chakula ah, allowances so hebu niambie sasa huko 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 nini huko Egypt na pia uzuri sio team ina shughuli ina gharamia huko Egypt eh, eh, eh ni kafi na gharamia kwa hiyo ama demo wana enjoy hata wanaweza kataa kurudi 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 unajua unajua kwanza na performance zenye zenye wame nini wamechapa ni rahisi sana waanze kununuliwa nje. Kwanza nani huyo goalkeeper Liliana War, Gentrix yengesha Gentrix Shikangwa, manze. Hizo timu za, za za North Africa huko zinaweza baki nao. Zinaweza baki nao. Eh wanaweza amwaniaje wacha tu baki nao si. Ah wachezaji jo talent talent. Talent iko fit so it's high time. Watu waweke pesa kwa ile ya madem. Inahitaji inaifa inafa hivi. Lakini mimi sita warakisha sana kitu inanibamba tu ni at least tumeanza. Hiyo safari tumeanza. Ah, tukiangalia basi pale uh, FKFPL pia. Mm. Um, Gormaya mm. wamepigwa bani wiki. Semeji. Semeji. Ndio sasa tunapo achangia. What is going on? Semeji. Wamepigwa fine ya 6 million na na, na, na na FIFA. Na pia Semeji. federation Semeji walivaya nini tena? Federation kwa mebani wa na FIFA. Kili hao wakana kumana kwa sign player. <laughs> Na kwanza si chama game. Yaani Semeji au jita au jita serikali paka wanaamini, wanajiamini sana. Yaani ana mimi. Yaani na bado anaonesha FIFA mtadu. Mtadu nini? Waka sasa inaacha zaji sita. Na kwa acha zisha game. Eh. Hivyo na ikaambia federation, nyinyi muli processa wachezaji. Eh. Muli muli make hizo signings go through. Zigo through. Pia nyinyi 6 million fine. 6 million. At least federation kujua au za tropu za kidogo pesa bakuli itabidi bakuli pesa tumekuwa tukitengeneza hapa ya betting kitu watu pay bill till number till number kwa kwa nini basi nyuma bakuvent pay bill hapo kogalo saidia kogalo eh ukitaka kutuma hapo 100 hebu imagine watu 10000 wakitumwa so 1 million At least utakuwa mahali. Utakuwa mahali. Hiyo utakuwa milipa. Ah nini? Itakuwa ni imbaki 6 imbaki 5 million. Eh so wamebaniwa wamebaniwa kwenda mbele kusign ama wamebaniwa kusign mchezaji mpaka 2023. Sijui itakuwa sijui kama ata appeal lakini federation anajua ata appeal. Wata appeal on their behalf. Federation nayo hawataki kutoboka. Ah government on lead standings by the way wako unbeaten this season. Wameshinda game wameshinda game tatu wameshinda game nne waka draw game mbili the latest being versus uh, ulinzi ulinzi mm-hmm. ulinzi last weekend walikuwa yeah. number 1 si wako number 6 don't you say ligi ili ligi ko nini competitive sana ukishinda game moja unapanda ukipoteza moja unateremka mbaka ukidraw eh kama mm. ukiangalia bandaro walikuwa huko walikuwa hapo mitebo mitebo after kushinda game uh-huh. Wamef, wamevuka wakafika number 4 kwa hivyo number 1 ni gormahia mm. with 14 points mm-hmm. number 2 ni karubangi sharks mm-hmm. Uh, with um, with 13 points mm-hmm. ika rubang sharks manze walinyanyo jo my former team mm. coach william mulwea manze uliaibisha my icon ezekiel akwana six goals to six goals to nil hey madhara wako mbaya eh hey, madhara wako mbaya madhara wako fiti na mimi nakwambia wali walifunga macho na ile game mbili walifunga nzo yao wewe na wakafunga bandari ya wewe tukajua madhara hiyo ni imerudi imerudi sasa upya sasa upya next game six nil hey. hey. character development <laughs> Ni hapo ni baba vile ongele hizi ingwe ingwe pia wameni embarrass wameni embarrass mbaya Baada ya fika second part of the table eh, 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 part of first part oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Number 2 Karibu Bangi Sharks number 3 City Stars yeah. yenye iko na my former uh, chairman wa Kefwa aitwa mm. Nicolas Muyoti 13 mm. points pale mm. Bandari 
ina kwa coach na my former captain Anthony Kimani mm. ni assistant captain wa Kasa Mbungo mm. wako na 13 points uh, homeboys wenye wako na Bernard Mwalala another mm. former player manze uh, bado bado anashikisha mbaya anashikisha ba- ako unbeaten bana mm. 13 points ulinzi stars uh, wako na 12 points KCB wako na 11 points hadi KCB wameamka walikuwa wamefungwa fungo mali hizo game mbili za kwanza zilikuwa eh, tricky sana eh, posta rangers wako na lord okumbi <laughs> he himself he himself he himself hey lord okumbi tunapenda <laughs> <laughs> alafu the one and only number 9 ni talanta coach eh. ken kenyata eh. eh jack of all trades mm. uh sofa parker number 10 mm-hmm. with 7 points bidco uh number 11 with 6 points tasker mm-hmm. wameanza vibaya sana manzi three three losses mm-hmm. only two wins mm-hmm. wako na wako na six points madari united six points in games zao mbili walishinda kenya police eh hey, mafande mafande kwanza kulikuwa na serikal dabi kulikuwa serikal dabi ka ikaisha draw mm-hmm. mimi nilishanga sana niko nimekea jo gormo ya kichwa mm-hmm. fc lopas sasa tumefikia second part why fc lopas mm-hmm. wako number 15 no win at all. one win versus tasker four losses and one draw Mm. Versus KCB. Zoya Sugar wako number 16, 2 points. Mm-hmm. Wazito number 17, 2 points. Alafu tukimalizia ni Vihiga Bullets na 1 point. Wamefungwa hizo games zingine zote. Eh. Hey. Uncle Chimps. Eh. Hey. Vihiga Bullets. Tunaje kwanza hapo. Vihiga Bullets. Wana embarrass dada zao. Wana, wana embarrass dada zao. <laughs> Sana. <laughs> eh. Hey. Uh, Rada ni hapo first half imeshia hapo. First half imekuwa fiti imekuwa fiti sana. Mm. Kwa wale watu wa Mehate of First Half utaingia pale kwenye bio hapo kwenye YouTube at uh, Icon Radio KE. Hapo mm. kwenye comment section like and subscribe alafu utaona hapo bio. First part haja kupita sana. Hakuna mambo mengi. Hakuna mambo mengi. Tupe comment hapo. Utacheki drop your comments na pia follow the conversation. Tukirudi tunarudi na our icon of the day mm-hmm. in the second half of the show. Mm-hmm. Our icon of the day tutawaambia, tutamuintroduce mimi nakwambia jina kubwa hapa Kenya kwenye sports unajua hapa lazima tunitangae icon wetu. Kwa hivyo stay tuned for the second half of the show. This is Sports and Reggae and Icon Radio. I'm your host Innocent Mutiso and Uncle Chims. Hey, welcome again to the second half of Sports and Reggae show. Hey, hey Uncle Buda. Chims. Eh, hey. second half hey. we... half time break ilikuwa moto. Hiyo yeah, half time mimi nilikuwa nafikiri ilikuwa kuongea tactics. Mimi nakwambia DJ Eh, selector Bigo. Selector Bigo. Alikupeleka Jamaica. Eh, request time. Ulisema ni hey. si Mediterranean Sea. Ah uh-uh. ah. Si oh, ni Pacific na Atlantic. Oh, Pacific na Atlantic. Mediterranean huko Middle East. Eh. Mm. Mediterranean huko Middle East. Eh bana. Huko ni kwa wapi? Na huko Ingo hakuna so, lake. Ya Egypt na Saudi Arabia. Hakuna lake Ingo. Kayaga. <laughs> lake Victoria. <laughs> hey. Welcome guys to the second half of the show. This is where we have our icon of the day. Mwenyewe. Uko hapa. Mzito. Icon wetu wako hapa mimi nakwambia. Mzito mwenyewe. Hey. 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 Atusemi kitu. Atusemi kitu mimi nakwambia. Nataka introduce. Yeye yeah, mwenyewe. Our yeah. icon of the day. Karibu. Kwenye Karibu kwenye sana kwenye sports and reggae show. Thank you so much. Mm. Yes. Tuta kwanza u introduce mm. tuambie who is Sam. Uncle Sam. Mm. Wow. Au mm. <laughs> tupatie majina zao kamili zenye kwa kipande. Za serikali. Zenye kwa kipande. Kwa kipande. <laughs> ziko mo. Ziko mo. Ziko mo sana. Vile ziko kwa kipande. Yeah. But uh, kwa majina naitwa Sami. Mhm. Jogona. Safi. Bon. Sami is short for Samuel. Ah, hapana hapana. Sami. Ba certificate na. Sami. Ina, ina, Inasema ina, tu Sami. Sami, eh, Sami. Hivyo eh, sio Samuel, sio Samson. Mm. Kipande. Sami tu, mm. pia kipande. Sami. Amesema Sami, <laughs> Sami. Karibu <laughs> <laughs> sana, tuambie tuambie. Shukran sana. So, mm-hmm. born and bred Nairobi. Nairobi uh-huh. uh, Nairobi ni vizalio uh, Nairobi West. Nairobi West for one month. Tukahamia South B. Walienda waki develop waki. No 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 no. Umeka tie no no no. So born and bred South B. Uh, yeah that's where i grew up hapo hapo ndio tulilan story mingi mm-hmm. kufanya vitu mob mm-hmm. uh, very fortunate mm-hmm. grew up with a lot of friends mm-hmm. uh, made a lot of friends muhimu mm-hmm. sana 
Uh, but it's not where I got my wife. Kwa hivyo Yes, married, uh, married uh, with uh, two children. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, four and one. Mm. They are born one day apart. Moja, yeah. <laughs> wow. yeah, one was bo- the first born is born on Mashujade, 20th mm-hmm. of October. Mm-hmm. Shujasa. Uh, our second born and last born <laughs> is born on the 19th. Tumefunga chapter mabano utakuwa. Tumefunga. Ai. Tumekuongeza bus tosha tosha. Lakini Sam 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 in future usijibu swali jeulizwa. Ah ah. <laughs> I, I am stating categorically. <laughs> I have only yeah, one, wife. <laughs> one wife. One wife. No uh, hidden wife. Taki asiku kuna contradictions hapo. One wife. One wife. Just we are on the press conference. At is this an ane usiku. Mimi mocha peke yake. And only one and only. One and only. Muhimu muhimu sana. Yes, thank you so much. Congratulations. Muhimu sana kwa na bibi. Kwanza kwa hii culture ya saizi. Kama juzi nilikuwa nauliza watu i generation ya saizi watakuwa na walimu wa Sunday school kweli. Eh. Is ni ni noma. Moral sakuna nini hakuna. Mm. So tukipata icon kama Sam mm. ana advocate for marriage yes. na faithfulness na to take care of your family. I do. Tuna need kukuwa moral models. Yeah and then mm. we end all this drama on social media true, about true. wives and multiple wives or multiple husbands. Mambo tu mingi. Inaanza kubo sasa. Mm. Na kweli kabisa. Unajua ukiongea hivyo this man is from Ingo. <laughs> ingo for status status tu kwanza yako kama yeah. una bibi more than one ah. mm. no one will respect unaona uh, governor oparanya wa kakamega uh-huh. his excellency yes eh mm. anatembea na bibi wote 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 ufiti mm. right your now icon now. of the day mm. <laughs> 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 so see story yeah. yangu. <laughs> yeah. But but can I say something? Uh-huh. Imagine say me to you. Uh-huh. You know mm. those were their days. Kweli kabisa, kweli kabisa. Yes. Times could, have changed. You know during their times you could marry as many women as you wanted as long as you maintain. Yeah, the resources were available. Mm. Yeah, you know jobs were there. Mm. You know. And I even say the difference between now and back then is mm. our parents Mm. had more opportunity than us true. there was less competition during their time, their time than there is now now very true yes so this is this is a disconnect yenye watu wao yenye disconnect ambayo iko sababu wao wanashinda wakituambia vitu venye zilikuwa during their time na waangalisa hizo and that was they're not looking at now kwanza hiyo time walikuwa wanapata ngotu shamba wewe chukua hapa ama wana grab mimi baba kuna siku shule nilizanga budamu kwani watu wa grab land hapa tao kwanza ma building muli kuli kwa wapi ushaga huko kanguno road kanguno road na dance like wa maria alafu na cheki wakishi of food all they needed to do was go to the farm the farm south bean ngenda shamba gani sasa na cheki Yeah. Tricky things are different. Things are different. Lazima, lazima u change thinking. Yes. Uko has like design plan. Correct. Ndio jo vile uta survive na Nairobi. Sam. Yes. This is the sports and reggae show. Na hapa kwa kila uh, kila weekend every Saturday from 10 to 12 pm. Mhm. Tunaletanga our icon of the day. Na our icon of the day lazima kwa sports personality. Lazima mm. uh, kwe ame ame amegusia sports mahali hapa na pale. Kwa hivyo utuambie your uh, your history in sports. Ah so Yes I loved sports. Mm. Loved loved still love still, still do love. still do I just change I just change <laughs> love love I, I love sports. Yes. I, 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 I love sports. Yes. Uh-huh. And, and I say this with all caution. Uh-huh. Um, I am a super supporter of of the Arsenal football team. No. Yes, but can uh, you do the victory dance? <laughs> <laughs> but but an all round I watch all sports. Na hapa kenya una support team gani? Um well uh, now I also have to be careful here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because I think one of the things I didn't tell is where I married or where I got my wife from. Yes, mm. yes, yes, yes. Uh, and the, my wife is from uh, the western areas Where? of this country. Ingo. <laughs> Ingo. And they come with demands. <laughs> the, 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 the west side, the west side. Yes, yes. So yeah. so 
I'm a fan of the of of the when I, when I look at soccer, uh-huh. I look at uh, I'm, I'm a fan of yeah, yes, of football. football. Ah, no, but soccer football. Soccer in US, unless we're talking US. Yeah, mainly when did I'm you stay in the US? No, I did not stay in the US, okay, but so I, I have traveled a little bit. But <laughs> Western. <laughs> but yes, I just wanted to be clear. But let me let me say it this way. <laughs> let me say it this way. I enjoy mm. um, the Shemeji Derby. Mm. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the fans. Mm-hmm. I enjoy the atmosphere. The atmosphere. Exactly. It's it's fantastic. So I'm actually torn between the two. I can tell you. <laughs> I'm a Gormaya fan. Gore, Gore and Leopard. What about See, you? I, can, I, I, I can, I'm torn between. They're all. They're both very talented. There, there are some. Things I'm there for the entertainment. <laughs> there are some things you don't need to be told. <laughs> no, I can no, tell. No, I can no, tell. No, no, no. You can tell. Favorite color? I can blue. So. My fan went to the blue. Yes. 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 But if I'm to give you another history, yeah. my history of. Of sports, yes. I have been very active in sports mm-hmm. all around. I play all sports, mm-hmm. um, or rather, before all of this. I know. So, so um, ever since my primary school days, um, I played uh, soccer, mm-hmm. football, mm-hmm. football, <laughs> basketball. Played golf, mm-hmm. vol- yeah. volleyball. Yes. Is golf a sport? It is. Mm. It is a, a, ca- a very calm sport. <laughs> That's a conversation for another day. Yeah. <laughs> yes, golf. Um, played um, uh, everything: but volleyball, mm-hmm. badminton, squash. Wow. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> you are a jack of all trades. Define squash. S- s- squash is a play. Is is a game where you slam the ball to a wall and keep mm. returning against yeah. your rival. What? But anyway, it's, with the racket, slam yeah, balls with the to walls. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> Tennis. We've played them all. Well, fortunately, I was in a school where where we could. Which school are you? I was in Strathmore. Strathmore. Because Strathmore. Uncle <laughs> Chimps. <laughs> I started my, my favorite sport mm-hmm. is basketball wow so ah. that's why I started mm-hmm. I was a very shy kid mm-hmm. growing up mm-hmm. I mean a uh, third born in family of four mm-hmm. children and um, you know third bones ndio huwa wana wanaonekani wacheki ah squa last bone squa last bone squa last okay i was last bone i was about to say about last bone no it's the truth and this is my show yeah so be careful not you can walk out in protest so so let me fight for for second last one second last bone we are the ones who are not Mm. Yeah, so mm. we grew up very shy. Mm-hmm. So I was a very shy boy growing mm-hmm. up, and uh, uh, but I found my outlet in sports. In sports. And um, I didn't have social so skills. So it was like your your therapy. Yes, it was my therapy. Mm. Uh, to be very honest, and I'm mm-hmm. glad that I found um, a mentor. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. Let me just mention his name. He's mm-hmm. called Mister Lodge. Mister Lodge, yes, Mr. Bigger. Lodge, yes. Mm. And um, he's the one who actually got me out of my shell mm-hmm. by getting me into into sport, and, uh, more so basketball. He was our basketball coach, mm-hmm. and yeah, and that's where it all began. Yeah, so from basketball, moved on to soccer and all the other sports. But yes, that teamwork really helped okay. with our, with my social skills. Able to be an impact mm. yeah, sports in your school. How was it? Big thing. It was a mm. big deal at Strathmore. It was a mm. big deal, and um, and I, I hope it's still the same. Yeah, because it not only um, you know helped us develop physically, mm-hmm. yeah, but it also helped us gain social skills. And they understood that. Mm. Yeah, the school and the institution understood that that uh, you need that balance, right? And okay. so it gave us a balance between academics. Right, and talents. Talents. And talents. And talents. And talents. And that's very important. Yes, by very, you. very important. And and I, I feel sad when I see how they shoot down sports in, in our country, in our especially country. in public schools. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't understand it. All right. In They're fact, let me let me continue the story because <laughs> the, the the next school I went to uh-huh. is the one that was now had had an even bigger passion for mm-hmm. nurturing talents. Mm-hmm. So in in high school I joined um, Saint Mary's. St. Mary's School. 
Nairobi. Strathmore. St. Mary's, South Bay, President, 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 I'm a St. Mary's. President, the current president of Kenya. Yes, 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 at the time uh-huh. i don't know about now i hope they they've they maintained the, the tradition maintained it mm-hmm. but in st mary's is mm-hmm. where now they had I, i can say an actual balance between academics and sports, and sports. and it, it was a thing that you had mm-hmm. to to join a team mm-hmm. yeah, whether it was hockey rugby yeah. basketball whatever it was you apart had, from academics when you join for one you mm-hmm. must join a team a you team. must be a part of a team mm-hmm. And I really like that about about St. Mary's. Mm. Okay, and uh, so they're big on on, on sports. Are they? The number one sports being rugby. Rugby, rugby exactly. Yeah, so, so rugby was a big thing at the time that I joined mm. St. Mary's. But our school used to beat you guys ah, left, right, ah, and center. Ah, I was at Laser ah, in ah, Academy. Ah, ah, no ways. <laughs> <laughs> We played against you guys. Never lost a game against Laser. <laughs> Never, not once. <laughs> at a quarter during my time. I promise during you one thing. Time. I wish you had mm. come to Western. Uh, with the boys the uh, <laughs> boys would have slapped you guys left right uh, and center uh, uh, you know, at the time I was in school was, was when akina kakamega boys were coming up mm. and and st mary's yala and uh, those true, true. They were doing very, high. especially kwanza rugby mm. no masa musingu yeah and now you see our national team is made up of people from you know from, from western, western from the schools mm. the sevens okay. whether sevens or whatever yes. watu wa hayaka tutapepa yeah. inchi paka siku gani <laughs> yes <laughs> mimi kama ango <laughs> so eventually when i i, I got uh, moved on father with, with high school mm-hmm. from four i was uh, let me say end of form three was made captain of, of the rugby of, team. of this of the basketball team. basketball team um and i um, mean form four end of form four when i joined ib1 which is therefore the version of form five and six mm-hmm. uh, i was now both basketball captain and soccer captain <laughs> a man of many talents <laughs> man of many talents yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey. And, um, and yes and and let me tell you it's it's just fantastic to be in sport you don't have time i want to time yeah ya kufikiria mambo mengi ya kuchoma machuo auna hiyo tai on that note on that note uncle sam we we'll don't take a short break mm. and when we come back we want to talk about uh, ason in schools mm. because uh, for the past month 35 schools have gone under fire manzi yani zimechomwa mm. ni sad sana sijui kama ni school moto you know na choma mashule ama mashule ama nini but we have to have that very sad story so let's mm. go for a break We we'll listen to some reggae from our selector Bigo. Bigo. Manze I'm to entertain the whole af- the whole morning. Mm. I'm to entertain Manze. So let's go for a short break and when you come back we we'll talk about that. So guys if you're joining us right now Manze Kumukeni join the conversation on Twitter at Icon Radio KE um on Facebook at Icon Radio KE um on on um, Instagram at Icon Radio KE na pia pale YouTube at Icon Radio KE pale kwenye comment section like and subscribe join this conversation na usisahau hashtag ni ile ile moja tu pale sports twitter and sports and reggae tupige story hapo hiyo safi safi kabisa selecta bigo yes. tupeleke jamaica Welcome back to the Sports and Reggae Show. This is Icon Radio. I'm your host Innocent Mutiso and Uncle Chims. Na nakwambia icon of the day wetu <laughs> anaitwa Sami Jogona. Jogona. Hey. Jogosh. <laughs> Jogosh. 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 He's our icon of the day. Sian Jogona. Jogosh. Jogona. 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 Yeah. Na niko na swali, niko na swali, niko na swali Jogona, niko na swali. Kwa nini mali pana uzoga mtu raka huwezi kosa Jogona? <laughs> tunapenda nyama unapenda mm. nyama all Sana. kinds of meat we love meat <laughs> and we love to share <laughs> getting back to conversation <laughs> remember we have our icon of the day na hapa tunaongelelea he's a former mm. basketball player amecheza pia soccer alikuwa captain pale akiwa St Mary's akiwa Strathmore 
na ametuambia story yake uh, mama mali alikuja akapendea ka, sports zile shule amenini uh, uh, amesomea na mali alichezea pia soccer and basketball but basketball ndio ilikuwa yake sio hiyo ndio ilikuwa yako hiyo ndio ilikuwa my Your main sport my favorite sport exactly yes. getting back to the story manzi mashule zinachomwa the past month 35 schools zime zime during my time mimi sikuwa isket tu kama hiyo wapi sam Mm. Ukiwa shule wewe ulikuwa bodi mimi moja mimi nisomea secondary mimi nisomea day school nilikuwa highway na nikaenda laser hill zote zilikuwa ah. day school mm. mimi sikuwa isikia story yote ya sijia kuchoma shule wewe ukiwa ukiwa chuo did you have those tendencies kuona umechoka kabisa uchoche wase tuchomeni shule yetu <laughs> maybe i skipped something <laughs> 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 eh, <laughs> kuna part ambayo siku sikuzungumzia uh-huh. mm. for one year of my life when i first joined secondary school uh-huh. and to say me to form 1 uh-huh. form 1 i was in two different schools uh-huh. yeah, both boarding yeah and uh, i was first in nakuru high uh-huh. i went to nakuru high but the in the man na kusho story ya third born i was an experiment <laughs> child na rushu hapa na rushu hapa na rushu hapa kenda nikapelekwa nakuru high nika join nakuru high na mm. kurai nili last weekend mm-hmm. one weekend uh, one, one weekend, weekend. <laughs> one weekend. weekend. <laughs> one weekend. <laughs> yeah, one weekend but one weekend first it was my first school uh-huh. mixed boys and girls uh-huh. 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 so na kurai ilikuwa boys and girls yes. uh-huh. first mixed school mm. and so one weekend mm. 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 and then and then mzee aka decide uh, nakuru ni mbali ni mbali yeah so after that weekend nikapeleko moy forces academy mm-hmm. apa juja road huko apo huruma yes yeah <laughs> boarding school uh-huh. so 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 i have i have ek, eh, in it was experience ama ni eh ni mego through your system exposure na, na exposure yeah, ya boarding yeah, school acha system yeah. tofauti na, na tofauti na for sure boarding na day very different Mm. very different sababu you control you are different mm. kweli Mateke. kweli kweli kabisa so uh, my forces mm-hmm. watching ni seme ilikuwa military style discipline hakuna ah, eh eh hiya hiya uru ya uru eh discipline hakuna eh. hakuna yeah. time ya kufikiria yes. story ya kuchoma chuo sijui nini eh. yeah so, sababu your time is controlled from 4 mm. in the morning Yeah, hadi 10 usiku. Paka saloon na kudozi. Yeah, there hakuna anga space, hakuwa na space ya uh, ya kubanga hizo zijui kwa na kitu. Extra curricular activities was there. Yes. Mm. So kutoka about 4 pm after mm. class kuna kulikuwa na sports extra curricular yeah. na unge join whatever team whatever you unataka. Yeah. Mm. So it was a very disciplined system. Mm. Mm. I don't know about it now, mm-hmm. but I know at the time with the principal to, uh, we had it was very disciplined. Yeah. Watch again. So so there's a stark difference between MFA na yeah, Nakuru. Nakuru. Mm. Nacheki Nakuru kuna hiyo time. Kuna hizo kuna hiyo opportunity ya kufikiria kulikuwa kulikuwa. Wacha nisi wachome na kulikuwa na hiyo na hiyo time ya kufikiria you know whatever you want mm. you know study yes, madem yes, yes, whatever. Yes, yes. Mm. But I would say shule mm. wanga the way to run. Yeah, even the discipline of the students is dependent upon the, the leadership the of the school of the school of the board yeah whether board and whoever they put in as principal mm-hmm. is very Master important lakini sam very very important nikola swali moja mm. eh, kuna hii factor umeongelea sana mm. ya mzee mm. eh, mzee aliona ile pande mm. haikufai mm. lazima kuna reasons alikuwa nazo za kuona kwamba eh hey, toyo mine afai kwa ile side Ah, it was very simple. <laughs> it was very simple. Uh-huh. When you look at the performance <laughs> of the two schools, oh. mm. it's very different. Moi forces ilikuwa top, I think top 20 schools uh, performing in performing KCSE yes. at the time. At the time. Yes. Nakuru high sijuko nilikuwa. But for sure M- MFA was ranked in very high. Yeah. So let me say that uh, and then after Moi forces ndo nikajoin form 2 ndo nikajoin St. Mary's. Mm. Yeah. 
But at the time, and here's the thing that also keeps you away from, you're so engaged in both academics and sports, and sports. that you don't have time to, to start thinking about those Little other Zingine. things. Oh, okay. mm. And it's a different world. Iko H, Lakini, mm -hmm. is a very different, different world, world. Yes. Mm. Yeah, inside, inside the school because mm. of its leadership. Mm. Yeah, but I had my own issues, which is why I left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even in those boarding schools, kuna yeah. bullying, kuna iso, kuna magomob. it still exists. Nani kuna suwali, Sam? Mm. Uh, engagement, engagement ya, ya, ya wazazi mm. kwa kwa hiyo time because hiyo ni trait pia ni menotis mm. uh, iko same na wazazi wa saa kwa sababu mimi menotis kitu moja saa ni kama watu wanadump, wana wanarushia walimu watoto wale eh. it's, it's very true hata mm. wacha chuo hata mm. nyumbani eh. ndo manu na zikenga storia nani oh. nani this, <laughs> nani that <laughs> okay, okay. nani this eh. but you see Si blame your generation, your generation yet. Your generation ni kwa size. It's because of how we were taught growing mm -hmm. up. Tulikuwa na shinda tukiambio, you must study hard to get a good job. A good job. Maintain mm -hmm. that good job so mm -hmm. you maintain revenue. Na cheki. Mm -hmm. So uta observe e generation, e mm -hmm. the parents now, mm -hmm. eh, focus yao ina kuanga job. Ina job. Mm -hmm. From morning, noon, night, in a kwanga, ni kazi. Ni job. So, mm. kuna yo generation, the children now, wame achiliwa. And they are being raised by nannies and, and teachers. Mm. teachers. In fact, you notice, uta notice, eti, watu is kuizi, age ya kujoin chuo, is much younger, younger than, than it was. Than before. Yes. Mm. We started to look, I think, four years old, four, five. Uh, five. Maske watu wene wanengia chuo, sayi wakua two. Two years. Playgroup. Playgroup, eh. So the Yes. So ni different. You know, e generation, e young generation mm. or the youth are uh, na your contact. And so you'll see there's a lot of defiance. Kuna disconnect kwa sababu watu wao wana identity. Yeah. So yeah. akifika home ana feel like atakani home yeah. akifika chuo kuna hiyo corporal punishment yes. ana feel like atakani hapa by the way watch nilicheck your story in the news uh -huh. uh, venye ma bishops na watu wa church mm -hmm. wanasema warudishe corporal punishment mm. and you have to ask yourself why why and have you forgotten why you removed it in the first in the place, first place. Watch it. <laughs> you know, what is corporal punishment? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. why is it sh it should be uh, delivered? Watch mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. it. Why should it be delivered by someone who doesn't know you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, how is it delivered? By the way, I hate that story. His story at Mutoto the village. The village. Society. Mm -hmm. society. Mm -hmm. yes. Does that mean now the society must beat your child? I don't know. Watch it. At discipline, corporal punishment should be instilled by village or by the society, the society yeah, about the community. Yeah. 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 Goja. Uh -huh. Yet, maze, you're the same village, you inflict mob justice. Mob justice. Mm. You understand? See, kama, kama saizi, kama, yeah. kama, kama juzi. This is where it comes from. It's a culture. Mm. Juzi kuna suwali mili uliza watu. Mbana sema watoto wanachoma, wanachoma shule. Mm. Lakini wazazi wenyu wamerusha mawe juzi waki juya siyasa. Mm. So unashindua, ni nini inaendelea? Uh, Inaitongo calling the pot black, black. Mm. Mm. check your story mm. yeah it's it's very sad mm. yeah that uh, uh, at wonge na watoi mm. yeah with, uh, we're not talking discussing it with our children yes. but they're learning from our example you know they're mm. learning from our experiences tunaenda kuambia watu wao asichome chuo yet these are the same people and kuchoma na custom businesses businesses kwanza zao <laughs> that is the most. Siyoza watu, siyoza watu <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, their own businesses. Yeah, their own businesses. Yeah. Mm. And you know, I joked earlier at the at one time, yeah, yaku yaku choma machuo sa sa babu to look engaged. But like in reality, is this these guys just follow example. True. They just follow example. Of course, been happening Ukijam, every year. Yeah, yeah, annually. Yes, yes, it's a festival. thing. Festival. It's, it's a festival. festival. Yes. Every year. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. So the first thing is ukijam. Yeah, Haribu. <laughs> That's a story. Yeah, okay, so, jam, spoil. We even see it in our politics. Mm. Uh, yes. What about Kijam? Go to the streets. Yeah, go to the streets. Haribu kila kitu. Yeah. Uli check your interviews. You look at Nani. You look at 
sijui kuna msee alikuwa na bongea wa police station kulikuwa na conference alafu kuna mtu amesimama hapo nyuma yeah. ajakan is it boni kalwale i don't know hey, 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 yeah, what is the first thing coffee coffee, coffee. pa alafu hapa tutauana hapa tutauana <laughs> but did you see the part for iteni vijana eh yeah, ndio hiyo sasa do you see how we Siko carry the youth do you see how even politicians yeah, carry what is this culture of violence Mwacheke. So, alafu me, you can't fight so. Tseme na wadeziani. Unajua mimi like uh, growing up my first interview mm. ilikuwa with the uh, Standard Newspaper. Yeah. Nilikuwa MVP uh, Copa Coca-Cola ah. zilikuwa in our school nice. uh, at highway. Mm. And uh, kitu kwanza waliniuliza who is your mentor? In football and also in uh, in life. Mm. In football nikasema Ronaldinho. Mm. Ronaldinho sio time alikuwa amewaka moto from ah. Brazil. And uh, in uh, life nikasema ni James Orengo. Mm. He was a seasoned politician mm. and mm. he was uh, he used to be a lawyer for human rights. And uh mimi kwa napenda kabla kwa articulate and all that. But nowadays can we really follow uh, politicians kama mentors? Because me Leona before 2017 elections nilisikia a politician saying weka tire. Mm. Yaani mtu amekosea mweke mchome. Mwingine akasema tumebaki na bullet moja lazima iangushe mtu. What is that? What are our politicians showing our children? Na unajua what to is kuizi wanashindanga hivi kwa TV. Sio siku zetu mimi niko kwa nyumba 6 asubuhi na rudi saa moja usiku nenda kuchapwa. Ni umetoka wapi? Bas siku hizi watu wanaoka kwa nyumba wanaangalia TV. What's going on? Wanaingia pale kwenye mtandao. Wako na Facebook accounts, wako na Instagram accounts. Wanaona what's, what's going on in the society. Unaona? Wakiona huyu MP ametuma guns wachome gari ya so and so. Mm. wa wa wapige gari ya so so mawe mbona wasiige hiyo hizo vitu you see uh, me by the way when I, <sighs> politics uh, because uh, nimekuwa siasa uh, for various reasons yes let me just say this and i think i hope the youth are listening politics is a game is a game and you know in games you use people to either win or lose, or lose. it's a game and the youth need to understand they are being used exactly yeah because that guy will not pick up a weapon unaambiwaga mm-hmm. ukitaka kusaidia watu mm. waambie vile unafikiria yes ukitaka kuwa con mm. waambie kile wanataka kusikia Pass. yes so sam mimi niko na niko niko na swali hapa mm. wewe umekuwa kwa sports as a teenager yes kuja paka ukiwa adult mm. junior adult kama kuna kitu kama hiyo una feel youth youth youth, <laughs> youth, youth, youth. bado bado ni youth bado ni youth of course mm. definitely uh, but not not in government terms. not in government <laughs> <laughs> but yes, sana sana yes. tunaangazia tuna, tuna, tuna mambo ya sports hapa mm. una feel hii energy my youth wako nayo inaweza kuwa harnessed kivipi kuitoa kufikiria vitu mbaya ile tu kutumika through sports first i i feel like um, number one, mm. we should harness talent mm-hmm. yeah so sports being one of them mm-hmm. all right as sports an as as an extra curricular mm. or even a talent that someone can nurture to make money out of out of it macheki mm-hmm. i ngoja mm. kabla uendelee on that note mm. ile kitu ime inasemekana sana mm what it's uh, what is uh, making these students ama mm. whoever it is mm. burn the schools kuna drug abuse mm. kuna stress ama depression mm-hmm. curriculum overload mm. and poor student teacher relations yes mm-hmm. kama uliona juzi juzi tu kuna mtu aliyena kwa shule na gun mm. at just because mwalimu alimwambia anyo yenyo ile yake alikuwa amepiga die mm. yeah. so and the drug abuse is, is is yes one of the reasons one of the reasons for for some of these actions and the things that we see in school but it's only one mm-hmm. yeah you can't tell me uh, at all the incidents not drug drugs, drugs. Mm. una check it yeah but the one thing that is coming out is the students are angry they are upset they are overworked i want i want i want 
opportunity ya ku distress ya kupumzika yani ku ku breathe wanacheki the covid period the yes. pandemic yeah. unapata watu hiyo wameenda shule wameenda wa shule for two months mm. wamekuja one week wamerutana na shule yes. kumbe kuna terms kama yeah. nne yeah. last yeah. last it's yeah. very confusing that your covid may it may distort killer kitu yeah. mm-hmm. but whatever was introduced there i think it was very rushed CBC. no 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 i'm yes, for cbc uh-huh. i am very for mm. cbc yes because one of the things we must say you student teacher engagement mm-hmm. but kwenye una hata ni parent teacher engagement, engagement. Peer, which is very important. very important a parent needs to know what's going on at the school and also what's going on, what's with, going the going on with the child school, yes. it's very important your balance ni necessary no check him so our kids coming back to where it's happening yeah it's because maze they are bombarded with subjects upon subjects you know me when i was in when i was in high school tulikafanya 14 subjects kweli kabisa so you, hakuna time extra curricular yeah. hakuna, hakuna you and you must study sababu tunashinda tukiambia you must become a doctor lawyer whatever mm-hmm. unacheki lakini maze ndio unafanya biology chemistry physics zote zote at the same time unacheki and you must study so you have no time you have no time to develop your yes, your talents yes. all right and if you do you're lucky because maybe your parents support so you na kweli kabisa mm. yeah wamepunguzia sasa hii lakini now they even say to reject cbc mm. na see si, si understand Kwanini? because cbc is actually about developing those talents pamoja na academia academics at the same time zinaenda kupata hiyo balance kupata hiyo balance scholar nilisikiza nini yake kwa youtube and he was saying africa we have the most difficult exams yes and we have the most difficult education and tunasoma ngatu theory peke yake yes. but when you go out there asia and uh, in europe mm. our vijana wanafundishwa practicals mm. like umto hii akiwa class 2 ama grade 2 vile mm. sai kuko grade 2 ameanza kufundishwa computer skills mm. so ana grow up yeye yeah, kijua akiwa computer wiz ndio hiyo sasa yeah huyo mm. mwingine amefundishwa about engineering correct akiwa at a very young age so mm. ana grow up hiyo ndo hiyo ndo talent yake. Yeah, ni kuongezea. Wacha ni kuongezea hiyo. I'm, I'm a huge supporter and fan of the NBA. Unajua wao determine mtoi wao atacheza in the NBA when they are four. Wow. Kwa serious. So this they, they start uh-huh. grooming that child mm. for the NBA wakiwa four years, four years old. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa swali ilikuwa nikuulize next nikuulize yeah. Sasa hizi vile una, una, una observe Kenya mm. kama independent observer uko kando hivi mm. na kama mzazi mm. unafikiri tunaweza integrate sports kurudisha hizi hizi maenaji za watu chini mm. na wache kufikiria hizi mambo mingi za kuchoma shule na za kutaka kutoka nje I, I think it's very important that we nurture talents mm-hmm. in the same way that we're nurturing academics mm. yeah, and it should it, it should even yeah. start from from the very top mm-hmm. um, you know I'm not a Spanangia story ya Gavas idea but at the end of the day they are their leadership mm-hmm. yeah so there's need there is mm-hmm. need for the government to push that agenda from the very top but even as they do so right they need to set up institutions that actually support these these ideas yeah need to say make a ball fkf mm-hmm. although fkf is 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 international yeah. mm-hmm. what i mean is like uh, what's the the, the, the local yeah, localized, the localized yeah uh, the, the local institutions mean, yeah. that actually are funded and nurture and take and absorb the mm-hmm. talent and so academies pay, uh, yes. uh, academies academies exactly. yes we can develop a, and, basketball academies just football take, academies yes just take a look at the rest of the world where mm-hmm. sports and Delay. arts are being these, uh, academies. Uh, these academies mm-hmm. including at uh, acting music their talent like, academies i've been to uh, al ali in uh, in egypt yes and here complex yao eh kuko na everything yenye unahitaji ku succeed everything kila sport netball yeah. squash nini uh, volleyball no jo volleyball by the way they are the best in africa yeah. wako na hizo sports zote mm. all under one roof mm. al ali ni it's, it's a military one mm. so it's a military academy mm. the actual stadium is a military stadium yes mm-hmm. so they have everything kwa sababu kiwanja yao ya senior team mm. uh, under 17 wako na kiwanja yao under 15 wako na kiwanja yao under 13 wako na kiwanja yao mm. so utapata in one stadium kuko na stadium zingine ndogo ndogo yes. like 7 or 10 yes za other sports peer correct mm-hmm. so isn't of to zina fuck correct yes and, uh, and take a look at even sporting teams mm-hmm. in the nba every state mm-hmm. Mm-hmm in america has a team mm. 
eh, Phoenix Suns mm. yeah Chicago Bulls Sacramento okay. Sacramento Kings I, I think they've changed but mm. Sacramento you watch yes, it yes. yeah every <laughs> state <laughs> not, on, on paper. Ah, yeah. <laughs> let, let, let me bring it back to our favorite um, yeah so you see you watch Premier League mm. check it in the UK Chelsea, yeah. Chelsea Colombia, Arsenal yeah. Manchester yes. all have teams yes, yes yeah true. now look let's come back home What's stopping us? And by the way, Tukonayo, Tukonayo, but what are the priorities? It's always, yeah, that's it, politics. Politics. So, we don't need to stop. Kukonayo's academy is up on the ground. See your priority. See your priority, Agava. They don't see us at sports as their priority. And yet, our biggest exports. Yes. Like in Sam. Yes. Define government. Who is government? Do you mean my government is not to stop? It is, it is, um, those people put there by the people mm. people's rep- representatives mm. all right mm. Th- that's it's it's the guys we put there it's the mm. guys we put in power and then the the people that are put in different positions by the people that we put into power so it's, like like, you, 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 it's me and you yes you, you, you see could deflect blame game kwa no. okay you see mm. how, how do i enable tutachanga is that what we're going to do because we don't have the, 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 we, the resources. In fact, to 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 liata to to li ban harambe to kairudi can we? we, we so, so, <laughs> the, the, the story <laughs> na ni bamba sana. The story <laughs> na ni bamba sana kwanza. Kwa sababu eh kila time sisi tumeshinda na blame government. Ku ku kuweka hizi vitu. So what's stopping mse kama wewe Sam saa hizi kuanza ku implement ku kuanza ku implement in your own little way yenye itafungua watu macho iko ni aje songe hivi. Um you're right. Mm. You're right. It's not all the time gaba. Mm. But um let me ask you this. Sababu mm. story kai ni inaitangwa investment. Mm. Sababu well. I'm not just going to start it. Let me be honest. Mm. I'm not just going to start it mm-hmm. for the sake of just starting, starting it. it. Yes. Lazima vision na plan. It's it's always and everywhere in the world. Mm. It is a business. <laughs> It mm. is a business. Mm. So, I'm not just going to start it for the sake of starting. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, it's an investment, mm-hmm. number one. Now, because it is an investment, mm. I need returns. Sindio? Yeah, True. All right. True. Now, let me ask you this question. Mm. And I'm, again, I'm not deflecting because mm. this is what it is. Mm-hmm. Your investment climate, mm. who creates it? Sinigava. Yes. It not uh, not necessarily ah, the government. Uh, Uncle Chief. Saizi, it's, it's saizi, the saizi, government. Saizi, uh, not necessarily the, the government. Okay. okay. Saizi kuna internet, kuna kila kitu iko iko open. Mm. Kama umepata mtu yako ako na talent NBA. Mm. Weka video zake Instagram. Weka video zake YouTube. Une, Unaweza muuza without kupitia kwa serikali. Aye. Now eh. let me ask you this question. Mm. Sababu at the end of the day, mm. sindio tu. Tunaweza fanya hivyo. Mm. Yeah. Let me even add me I got a scholarship because of sports true to go to university mm. and and learn through uh, university mm. but let me let me i was one of how many who applied for that thing how many will apply and get that scholarship or have your child chosen that's why we need brains like yours. And <laughs> kama wewe unajua, kama unajua. No at, no, at, no, at, no, at, no, at, no, I don't know. Atuwezi vitu the same way. Na, na wewe unajua story kama you know. Yes. So, ukiwa kama hapo instead of kungoja ya serikali ikuje ifanye ABCD. Mm-hmm. Na unajua hizi rules zote na unajua mm-hmm. kila kitu vile inafanyika. Mm-hmm. Nini na ku stop wewe kuanza ku make a difference in your own little way kwa sababu mimi nimechoka kusikia tunangoja serikali, tunangoja nini, tunangoja nini. Naelewa, but what's mm-hmm. the end game? Where are we taking our children? Uh, uh, on top of mm. the negative things, mm. what is the? Where am I doing this? Mm. Um, am I nurturing talent to keep here, or am I nurturing talent to keep here? Queen Guinea. Queen Guinea. He can never end. But it's very interesting. Yes, 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 yes. It's important to nurture for home. Uh. Not for Uko. What's the end game? Uko. And end game therefore, began. the institutions that were nurturing this talent must be created here. And we, we won't be able to do enough if it's just... We can start, I agree. Mm-hmm. But we won't be able to do enough without the support of the, the government. government. On that note, Buwana Sam, Juguna, tumeshukuru sana. 
Na parting shot tu moja. Ama uko na kitu ya kumuuliza? Mimi nilikuwa na swali tu moja tu kwa bwana Sam Juguna. Do you conversation aita Waisha? Kabisa. Anapatikana wapi kwa mitandao ya kijamii? Kwa sababu mafan wetu tu interact naye hapo hivyo kwa sababu hii story. Tunahitaji karibu 24 hours tukae mali tupige story. Lakini tunaendelea hii story kwa mitandao ya kijamii. Unapatikana wapi? I am on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Facebook Sami Maina mm-hmm. um, Instagram same thing uh, mm-hmm. no yes Sami Maina yes yeah. Instagram Sami Maina mm-hmm. on Twitter is uh, my nickname from basketball mm. Smithers Smithers and that's got that in yeah we are sorry but yeah so le mole mole nickname Nick was standard 3 hey. uh, uh, yeah. a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> and it has kept in fact a lot of my friends know me yeah, as yeah, Smithers yeah. but yes you can find me on on any of those uh, platforms mm-hmm. But uh, I also am director of a, a place where we are nurturing the arts, and it's a, a hub for for creatives as well. Mm-hmm. Upper DJI Brandem Studios. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Upper Barichero. So, yeah. pay us a visit. Tembe ya wone. Apo ndio mali tunambia mafano wa tulete. Wakudi wa tuambia santi. Watumishia mkono. Watumishia mpesa kila wiki. And that's how we conclude our icon of the day. Thank you very much. Tunakupenda. Mwana Sam Jugun. Jugush. 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 You are our icon of the day. Thank you very much. Shukran sana. On a parting shot. Kutaka uambi kitu moja. My youths. Awa nakuchoma shule. Advice tu moja tu. Um... Vumilia. School is Kama mafano uh, wase nole. Eh, wacha tuambie though. Vumilia. <laughs> Vumilia. <laughs> uh, school is not forever. <laughs> it's only four years of your life high school. Yeah. Don't destroy your life uh, before it has even started. Mm. Don't be destroy life. life before it has even started. Yes. Uncle Sam. Yes. Tutakuwa <laughs> tanko sawa. Hey! Yes, na ipet lazima ya. Eh, lazima yende kwa mtandao hii. Hey. Yes. Thank you very much for that advice. Yeah. Mm. And on that note, we finish the second half and uh, join us. Stay tuned for the extra time. This pale, that, pale, that's pale. Why we make you money. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we make you money. Wisha. Sawa sawa. Hai. Kwisha. DJ. Tupeleke Jamaica. Hey. Uncle Chimps. Wiping, wiper, wiper. Mm. <laughs> the minister, I'm the cabinet secretary. Uh-huh. The minister of sports. Uh-huh. Honorable. Alifanyele kitu juu. Amina, alifanyele kitu. Mm. Ali disband FKF. Mm. Na immediately, naka form caretaker committee or mm. a normalization committee. Yenye ya kustia. Mm. Football in Kenya for the next six months until elections are done. And uh, last week, mm. Ali was summoned by the Senate. The Senate. I explained decisions are getting done. What prompted her uh. to focus only on FKF? What about the other federations? And yet, the other federations make what? No masana. Now, mm. Kasema. Instead, she sent a letter. Vilani mm-hmm. was summoned. Mm-hmm. Sent a letter to uh, the Speaker Honourable Kenneth Rusaka, mm-hmm. seeking postponement for seven days because mm. I may receive the audit report from. Ile uh, committee alikuwa meform alikuwa meform ya kuangalia ya kuangalia uh, the ongoing in the federation uh-huh. na in the letter she said she was scheduled to receive the FKF inspection report on uh, Thursday that's juicy mm-hmm. uh, and needed time to scrutinize and understand the contents of the report kumeenda aje and we actually part of your report too heavy aka disband aka disband FKF mm. na kaweka committee hiyo committee Hapa <laughs> ndo mali kuna shida na hapa ndo mali melta noma. Shida kivipi? Sikuelewi? Ngoja. Unaona kumekuwa na kuna time tulikuwa ban pia Kenya. Uh-huh. In the early 2000. Uh-huh. And we returned on the set to the same spot. Mm-hmm. So what happened? Wale watu wamechaguliwa hapo mm-hmm. ni watu wawili watatu hivi wenye wamekuhusika na football. And that is John Bobby Ogola, mm-hmm. JJ Masiga. Mm-hmm. He committee yao watu wengine wote ndo mali wa Kenya wanateta. These are people who, has, who have never been uh, anywhere near sports. Like but, the chairman uh, of this committee ni ja, retired justice mm, Aaron Rigera. Mm. What's your take on the disbandment of Kenya? Uh, of, uh, football Kenya Federation. Ilikuwa long overdue. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu vitu zilikuwa nafanywa tofauti na hazikuwa zinafanywa fiti. 
Na hata vile una complain unasema hii committee imekuwa na watu hawajakuwa <laughs> kwa football, si ndio? Eh mimi na believe uh, isujaribu brains mpya. Kama zile tumekuwa tunajaribu as work, tumekuwa Justice Aaron Rigera kwa tusa hapo kwa chair. Wacha tuone, sita judge mtu kasi jaona kazi yake. Other members tumepeleka tena kwa kwa, kwa jeshi. Yeah. Mimi sita judge mtu kama sijaona kazi yake kwa sababu the usual suspects wame to fail. Tumekuwa tunapea watu wamekuwa kwa football, watu wamekuwa wapi lakini wame to fail. Kama the the current office. But kuna hapo kwa hiyo committee, mm. team member committee. Mm. Kuko na former football uh, uh, federation uh, deputy chairman mm-hmm. Chacha Skasuve ako hapo. Pengine kuna ideas mpya unajua yeah. saa nyingine pia mtu change. <laughs> Pengine kuna ideas mpya ama, ama akiwa kwa ile regime tofauti pengine alikuwa suppressed kufanya vitu fulani kwa sababu hakukua kwa, kwa authority ya kumake decisions what is it they say that you cannot teach old dog new tricks okay. no unajua kama alikuwa kwa ile ofisi nyingine uh-huh. pengine alikuwa kwa position ya kumake decisions but he was a deputy ah, deputy maanishi ni kama ni kama wa afrika saa nyingine wanasema nga bibi hezi ongea kwa nyumba uh-huh. unaona so pengine ideas zake zenye alikuwa nazo angeza zi express wacha tumpe chance tuone nini anaweza fanya akiwa kwa hiyo committee kama committee takubali ideas zake tuone vile tunaweza songa mbele so wewe uko sawa na e disbandment niko sawa na disbandment kabisa kwa sababu waja gani tuendelee kucheza kitu aitusongeshi <laughs> mbele ni heri tukae nje na tukwe tuko sawa and what entails mm-hmm. with the, this disbandment the mm-hmm. disbandment mm-hmm. sasa tunaangalia a fifa ban mm-hmm. ju in government interference ama mm-hmm. third party interference mm-hmm. and fifa hiyo nao ni lazima watu ban kwa sababu no country is exceptional <laughs> <laughs> na tumekuwa hapo before. <laughs> we tumekuwa hapo before and we return to the same same spot ya corruption and football not go, not making any strides. Mm. Tukarudi tena hapo after after hiyo ban ya 50 ya 2 years, mm-hmm. tukarudi we still made the same mistakes, we still return the same people to to the helm at uh, the federation. Unajua nini? Sasa hii ndio hii ban to me invite. Na kwa hii ban kuna circumstances. Sasa hii gorma here mm. na task ya confederation cup. Mm. So tukibaniwa hiyo inamaanisha they will have to pull out. Najua nini? Our sisters, ngoja nimalize. Mm. Our sisters, Viga Queens, ndio mm-hmm. tournament ijaisha. Mm. Siji kama watakuwa pulled out, uh-huh. ni tournament wako kaf Champions League za uh-huh. women. Mm-hmm. Siji kama watakuwa pulled out, mm-hmm. ama what will happen? Kama watakubalisha wamalize, mm-hmm. ama FIFA maybe wata watangojea hiyo tona ishe, mm-hmm. yo wa make decision on Kenya. Mm-hmm. But as I know as it stands right now, mm-hmm. Federation of Pelekei Kesi Koti mm-hmm. or over tani kitu the honorable Amina amefanya. Unajua? Mhm. <laughs> Atoki bani wa kwa kitu huko kwa successful mm. difference gani na make Taska warudi mta Gormayo warudi mta Harambe Stars rudi mta si ati tulikuwa tuna qualify world cup hata na hii na hizi eh, coach amepewa contract ya 60 days Turudi tu mta haita make any difference whether to participate kwa hizi continental nini haita make any difference kwa sababu si utolewa mapema hizi continental trophies continental nini Trudi mta saizi tumesha learn tume learn from our mistakes tume learn zile vitu tumefanya fifa itubana nataka ni 3 years to tengeneze nyumba yetu in order and the school actually aki, alikuwa takasema mm, mm. uh, i wish uh, fifa will come in and help the government clean up the mess in football of course and not burn the country kwa sababu atu, atuwezi shida ati tuna, tuna participate kwa vitu hazitusaidi but hapo fifa yenyewe si pia inafaa kucleaniwa inafaa kucleanse sita ongelea fifa mimi ndaongelea chenye najua ni, 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 ni nyumba yetu hiyo uh-huh. ndio naongelea hiyo ndio inachomeka nyumba yetu ni chafu sana nyumba yetu inahitaji kusafishwa na kama ita take ban kusafisha nyumba yetu saa hii ni heri tubaniwe kama ita take ku disband ama ku arrest au officials wamekoko kwa hiyo ofisi wote ni heri washikwe wote kwa sababu it's a time to move forward. Majirani yetu wanasonga mbele. But you know what Sisi about from FIFA? Mm. Na ini kitu moja watu wengi sana wajui mm. na watu wengi wamekuwa kiadvocate sana for this ban. Mm. Hiyo ina maanisha au ma scouts umekuwa kiwaona na ujue nowadays the last same the last half decade ndo mm-hmm. tumeona influx ya so many players going abroad. True, true. So hiyo ina maanisha ma scouts watajitoa Kenya because sahi no player can get uh, if the FIFA ban um, iki, iki happen no player anaweza pata international transfer certificate so ina maanisha kuna mchezaji Kenya dem ama chali ataweza kwenda kucheza unajua unajua hata kidogo hiyo ina maanisha pia eh. ma sponsors wataona kama product yetu yeye ndio advertise wa in um, uh, in uh, the larger larger africa mm. kwa nini tu 
kwa nini tuendelee kusponsor hii team unajua sina maisha watajitoa unajua mimi na heshima FIFA sana mm. naona ongelea FIFA ni kama ni FKF kuna vitu zingine ni common sense no, mimi si, si believe tumeona two people two big wigs from FIFA wamekuwa nini si believe si, si believe FIFA watakuja tu watu ban kwa sababu ya government interference serikali ikiingilia kitu lazima kuna reason lazima kuna makosa wameona mahali but in every country may happen Once no problem third party interference ban FIFA ingilia. FIFA pia itai time waanze kutumia kutumia common sense mm-hmm. Awezi kuja tu ban for the sake of banning people angalia reasons why kumekuwa na interference na for the sake uh, ya kama Kenya reasons ziko very clear for everyone to see paka watoto wadogo wanaona corruption hapa kuna mchezo na atusongi bele so fifa nao wasikuje tu hapa ati sasa ati tumekuja ku for the sake of banning ati interference ya football hapana fifa wakuje waangalie facts uone nini kwa stake na wasaidie serikali ku streamline industry kwa sababu the youth wamekuwa naumia sana kuna generations zimepotea juu ya corruption juu ya corruption Watu walikuwa na talent sawa kusonga mahali au kufanya kitu yote juu ya corruption na mismanagement. Hii nyumba yetu lazima isafishe. Na tunahitaji FIFA sana wakuja wasaidie kusafisha hii nyumba. Wasianze kukuja na maban na pia wakuja na hizo ban ni sawa tu. Tutatengeneza nyumba yetu. Sawa sawa just to mention uh, the committee 15 member committee. Mm-hmm. Kuna Justice Aaron Ringera. Uh-huh. Other members of the committee are General Richard Moses Oyugi, mm-hmm. Fatma Adan, mm-hmm. Philip Musiemi. Anthony Isai, mm-hmm. Elisha Kiplagat, Hassan Haji, mm-hmm. um, uh, Frederick Tureisa, uh-huh. Mwangi Mothe, mm-hmm. Nedi Atieno. Mm-hmm. Of which sijui kama huu ni ule Nedi Atieno mmoja wa Harambe Starlets. Uh-huh. Mwenye ako ulinzi, I'm yet to know about that. Uh-huh. But Nedi Atieno, uh-huh. kuna Ali Amor, uh-huh. Titus Kasuve the former um, uh, vice chairman of uh, federation uh-huh. and uh, Mohamed Hatimi mm-hmm. uh, Richard Omwela mm-hmm. Bobby Ogola the former the 6 million dollar man who mm. is the current coach wa Kenya Police Kenya Police and JJ Masiga former FC Leopards and Harambee Stars legend legend how ndo kiateka committee mm. so uh, on that note i think tutamalizia history icon radio